It hasn't even been a year since Ariana Grande bought two new mansions, but she's just purchased another property yet again. Records show the pop star has paid almost $9 million for a property just a few minutes away from her main estate in Los Angeles' Bird Streets. However, it's looking like a bit of a teardown. Photos are slim, but apparently Ari's new purchase consists of three attached parcels of land, with only one structure being a small 1946 built cottage. Today, we'll give you all the details on Ariana's new real estate investment investment as well as the two homes she bought last year. We even did some digging and found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ariana Grande is a singer, songwriter, and actress who I would consider one of the biggest female icons of the time. Although she rose to fame with her role as Kat Valentine in the show Victorious, Ari really achieved mega stardom with her music career. Ariana has taken her influence to social media and has been named one of the 100 most influential people in the world. She's also been the most followed woman on Instagram since 2019. I mean, who isn't familiar with Ari's signature ponytail and her fashion? I think many of us are guilty of admiring her. Among her many awards and accolades, including a Grammy, the pop princess was declared the most accomplished female singer to debut in the 2010s. In terms of her love life, it seems that for over a year, she's been spending quarantine with her fiance, realtor Dalton Gomez. The pair got engaged in December and are clearly happy as ever. Maybe Dalton's also the reason Ari's securing all these big real real estate purchases. Who knows? At the time of this recording, Ariana has a net worth of about $150 million or more and is considered to be the highest paid female as of 2020. Ariana has a net worth of about $150 million or more and was considered to be the highest paid female singer as of 2020. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because we post a new video daily. We reported on Ariana Grande's properties just last year, but since the star is on a roll with her purchases and just drop some more millions, it was time for another update. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases and outfits, head on over to our other channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and expensive items. And in addition to showing off her expecting tummy with the belted waist, it also ties her to her home on the west coast. Let me explain. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Just last year, Ariana started building her West Coast real estate portfolio in a big way, buying her main modern mansion in LA as well as another estate in Montecito. But as we just learned the other day, she's not done yet. The pop star just paid $8.9 million for a third property, this one, just steps away from her main home in the Bird Streets neighborhood. The deal was done off market, but records show the property is made up of three attached land parcels on a steep hillside with gorgeous views. With her fiance Dalton's real estate know-how, it's safe to assume the 0.74 acre plot of land was a good investment. We just have to stay tuned to see if Ari builds another dream home here. The only structure on the lot is a small cottage built in 1946 and spanning less than 1,600 square feet with two beds and two baths, sounding a lot like a teardown project to me. Like many celeb-worthy homes, there's a long gated driveway and it's invisible from the street thanks to hedges and trees surrounding it. The ultra-private setting may just be the estate's most unique feature. Even considering this, from the hillside perch the home is on, it still boasts amazing views over the Sunset Strip, West Hollywood, and beyond. Records also show the estate was in possession of the original owner for decades before being acquired by an investor in 2011 who paid only $2.3 million. The buyer held onto it for a decade before flipping it to Ariana, making themselves a ton of money. Off to the side of the cottage overlooking the city below is a large swimming pool and red brick patio. The lot size is rare for the tightly packed Hollywood Hills neighborhood and the property has plenty of space for a roomy mansion with amazing views. While it's possible Ari might decide to convert the cottage into a music studio or guest house, the high price for the lot suggests she may be looking to create her dream home here. After years of renting a mega mansion in LA, just last year Ariana bought her own modern estate in 2020, which serves as her main residence these days. Set high above Los Angeles' iconic Sunset Strip, an exclusive area known as the Bird Streets, Ari's mansion costs 
cost her $13.7 million, and it's where she and her boo settled in for the quarantine. Inside the home spans over 10,000 square feet of contemporary space with four beds and seven baths. While the home is chock full of impressive amenities, it was a surprising purchase for the star, considering the property isn't very private at all. From the streets below, you can see the entire residence, and almost every room is on display too, with walls of glass. The front entrance is also only inches from the street and any passerbys. Ariana's new Hollywood mansion has never been occupied, but it was completed two years ago in summer 2018. The property was developed by Woodbridge, a now non-existent investment group and Ponzi scheme, fronted by Robert Trippi. Hero, and the home appeared on and off the market over the past few years. The house is minimalistic in its design and shows a lot of clean lines and angles with hardwood floors and 16 foot ceilings throughout. In most of the rooms you'll also find floor to ceiling windows allowing for a lot of natural lights and peeping fans if they feel the need to walk by Ariana's home. From the street, large metal doors open up into an atrium that leads to an all glass front door. Inside you'll find common living areas with walls of glass overlooking the hills. The expansive kitchen has designer appliances and custom cabinets, and a double-sided fireplace divides the living and dining rooms. Ariana's modern mansion covers three floors, all with glass balconies, and her fancy master suite covers the entire top level. Here she has a massive walk-in closet with track lighting, an ensuite with features like a rainfall shower, a lounge area, and a private terrace. While down on the lower level, there's what's called a cedar-lined wellness center, boasting a sauna, fully equipped gym, then a home theater, wine cellar, and a lavish bar perfect for sipping cocktails. Like most surrounding estates, Ariana's property doesn't have much of a yard, but they did manage to squeeze in a large entertaining patio, and of course, an infinity edge pool hanging over the hills. This L-shaped pool soaks in the amazing views of LA, and her entire property shows off views of the canyon, city, and ocean. Just when you thought one multi-million dollar home was enough, only days after word broke about that Hollywood mansion, she bought yet another property. Ariana also bought a unique 5,500 square foot Tudor style home in Montecito for $6.75 million. Known as the Porter House, this historic abode had famous sellers too, none other than Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi, who purchased and renovated the place earlier that year. It actually might not be too surprising that Ari bought another property so soon, since for years she leased not one, but two multi-million dollar homes in LA. One was a mansion above Beverly Hills, and the other was a large residence in Sherman Oaks, which was long occupied by a family member. That being said, it's possible her Montecito house is now occupied by that same family member. Made up of two separate barns originally built in Surrey, England back during the 1700s, the Porter House was painstakingly dismantled and rebuilt as a full home in California. Two structures are now linked together by a stunning glass enclosed solarium. The Tudor style residence boasts two beds, two full baths, two half baths, and the property has rare vintage furnishings throughout. There are also two gorgeous kitchens, one equipped with a top of the line glass fronted fridge. Some of the home's fairy tale like spaces include a massive living room, a uniquely shaped library with antique casing windows, and a loft like den that overlooks the main living room with fireplace. The master bedroom here is also loft style, overlooking a second living room with fireplace. Finally, on the grounds of the historic home, there are perfectly landscaped and secluded gardens with stone pathways and brick terraces. So that's all I've got for Ariana Grande's most recent property purchases. We checked out the parcels of land she bought just last week with the teardown cottage, her main modern mansion, and the Tudor style estate in Montecito. What do you guys think Ari's got in mind for her latest real estate acquisition? I think it was a good investment, but I also think she's getting rid of that 1946 cottage ASAP. I really would love to see if she builds a dream home here. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you liked or didn't like about Ariana's homes and feel free to rate them. Be sure to subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better and chat. We'll link you my latest video. We are staying at the Fairmont Banff Spring, but when we arrived, I was even more excited to find out the place is haunted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tours you want to see next on here. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.